to me? I, I just can't describe it. Well, no one can describe the Grand Canyon. You're so right. It has no equal and no superior. Boy, you can say that again. I found this represents all things to all people. It looks bigger than the whole world. It's the greatest visual shock known to man. Your grandpa taught me all I know. Oh, go on now, Oliver. You'd have been a park superintendent with or without Dad's help. Well, anyway, it's good to have you back in the park service. Well, now, I'm not back permanently. My goodness, Paul would never stand still for that. But he's just as enthusiastic as I am about this See America First program. Dad says there's a big need for more to... No, Timmy. Moral and spiritual inspiration. Paul's right. And the source is right here. If I know your mother, she's going to do a bang-up job promoting this program. Thank you. Mom, it's the man we spoke to today. Well, Richard, someone here I'd like you to meet. Fine. We've been enjoying your music. Thank you, Oliver. Ruth, Timmy, I'd like you to meet one of our favorite yearly visitors. How do you do? Hi. Bet you didn't expect to see me so soon. Don't you remember? We met on the rim today. Well, of course. You're the boy with the collie. I wanted Mrs. Martin and her son to meet you, but it seems it's all been taken care of. Oh, yes, but very informally. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Bliss. Well, thank you. Very pleased to meet you, sir. I didn't know. Timmy, don't tell me that I fooled you. But today, you saw the canyon. You're right, I did see it. But in here, you understand? Pleased to meet you, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> 